Yo, this is Rose and you watch the Potato Salad Radio Show. Uh, we're in February. Yeah, African Legacy Month. Oh, that's new to me. I do not. Uh, I didn't get that memo. <laughs> I, no, no, I, I don't call it African Heritage Month because the fact of the matter you don't call is, it Black it, History Month either. I don't call it that foolishness, man. Okay. You know what, man? To be perfectly honest with you, to define a a, a person or a, a people with one month out of the year is is as Mike Tyson would say, it's ludicrous. So let me ask you. No, I'm, I'm not saying I disagree. Don't get me wrong. So I'm you want to say you should not have it? I'm not. Hey, I'm not saying that we shouldn't have it. Okay. I'm not saying any of that. I'm yeah. saying that for me personally, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you're Scottish. Then maybe we should have a Scottish Heritage Month, but we're in the no, Scottish man. part of the world. Exactly, so Scottish Heritage is every day. It's, every day, it's forced on you every day. Yeah, and I mean for me, I don't define myself by one month out of the year, homie. Right. Just because it's my birthday and Abraham Lincoln was born on the same day I was born, uh, the fact of the matter is straight goods. Mm. You know, I, I don't define it by one month, and I don't consider it just heritage. I consider it a legacy because the people that have gone before have touched not just me, but they touched you. They touched you. Of course, it's just all of you course. people watching this, all you people listening. Of course. So you know, mm-hmm. to me, it's more of a legacy thing, and right. that's why the way I define it. So if now, you could change it up, would you? Is there like a different way that you would do? Sort of that celebration or that recognition, because there is the imbalance, as we just brought up, like of like the white culture generally, and then the, and I know it's a weird way to define people, but we're still well, defining them that I way. I mean, it's I mean, it's, you, it's, break it up, like have a you know <laughs> an event a month instead of like one month. What do you? It's, why, why have an event a month, I man? Don't know. Just just revere the people. You know what I'm saying? Just just worship. You know, I'm not going to worship. I, you know, just revere them. Just I, remember them and just, know about them, right? And, and I think and, that's and, the and, biggest thing and, for me. And 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 pass the legacy down to the younger generation. Right there. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just where I'm at with it. I don't. I, you know, as I say. It, you plastering some stuff of uh, you know black people on a on a library guide or on a newspaper and stuff. What did he do? You do one month. Wow, that doesn't mean anything to me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. for me personally, as I say, I live it. I'm a proud black man from mm. this province. Mm. My family's been here for 400 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah. You ain't, there's nothing that you can tell me that I don't already know. You know what I'm saying? Well, and that, the fact that matters. You said a couple things there that I think are important. I think teaching it's the thing instead of focusing like. We need to know it, Gen- like everyone needs to know the history to be able to be able to like take it right off the cuff. Like, yeah, I know that. Yeah, you know they should. And so because I think we need I to mean, we need to teach um, like African Nova Scotian history. I mean, you think about it you better, think about it. way better, and make that where everybody knows those stories, where yeah. everybody knows like the seminal stories, the big stories, but that we also dig into that history more and know more about it because that's the problem. I think is that. Mo- that tradition, that oral history, that passing down, I mean, even the written history is just not celebrated and therefore not carried on, right? Yeah, like, it's not. And I mean, and the, the fact that matters, and it's not just, as I say, it's not just for African Canadian or African American or African history in this part of the world. It's for a lot of different histories. Oh, for and, you sure. you know, the one sure. thing that I was defined uh, by uh, Dr. Prachai when I was going to Henson College back back in the day. It's it's history, not make sure it's not his story. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's coming up through junior high school, going to Cornwallis School over here. Yeah. You know, before they changed it to name the Central. Yeah. Uh, I learned about Edward Cornwallis. We were taught to think this guy was a god. He was oh, he was the savior of uh, Telefast, blah blah blah. Yet. Yeah. Now comes out that he put bounties on people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The Aboriginal people of the area. He mm-hmm. tried. He mm-hmm. totally annihilated the Shabakto Head Reserve, mm-hmm. or not reserve, but village. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and, it, and I'm I'm made to worship this guy. Exactly. And then you know, like they got statues erected to him. Mm. Yet they don't talk about how the Maroons built Citadel Hill mm-hmm. and how they protected the city mm-hmm. and negotiated with the Aboriginals so that they, you know, the people that came here didn't get wiped out. They, we never hear about that. No. You know what I'm saying? But as I say, sometimes you got to read between the lines, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not trying to say, hey, it's it's a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. Anything that's celebrating the people, I'm behind. But the fact of the matter is, as I say, for me, African Heritage Month is not a month. I live it every day. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. You don't define me by one month out of the year. So. I want to do something then.